Sometimes fast food places mess up your order, and sometimes Karens are willing to get arrested over that. I'm telling you, why would you do that? Okay. So today we'll take a look at five Karens who got arrested because of a disagreement with the fast food joint. The first Karen was a woman that was stealing customers' coffees at Starbucks when she got confronted by the cops. And little to say, it didn't end well for her. Ma'am, can I talk to you for a minute? Yeah. Come here. Can I use the bathroom? No, come here for a minute. Okay. Because you've been trespassed from this property, so I need uh, you to come I here. I have a are you stay? Are, are you, you the one they just called on? Why? Drinking other people's coffees and stuff? I didn't drink anybody else's coffee. Okay, let me let me find it. Go yeah, ahead and yeah, use the bathroom. Let, let uh, me. Uh, you may not be the person. Let me go I find it. Here, uh, room uh, three one eight is my number. My last name is Church. Okay. Church, church. Can you just walk to the window so I can make sure it's not you, so yeah, I can yeah, point yeah. him out? Cool. No, come here real quick. Just come here real quick so I can check to make sure it's you. Okay, go pee. Go pee. What does she look like? Dreads, black beanie cap. Okay. And what was she doing? She was, she was what? She's drunk? But what was she what is she doing? Do you want her? Okay. Did she steal anything? Did she pay did she pay for what did she take it? What did she take? Did she leave yet? Or is she still in the bathroom? Did she leave though? She walked out of the bathroom. The person I was talking to. Okay. So she's still in the bathroom? Or he's in the bathroom? Or? Alright, let's walk over here real quick. No, 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 we're gonna walk no, over to Starbucks. Hold on, I'm gonna put you in handcuffs and you're just me. For what? Walk over to Starbucks real quick. I'm telling you, my ID is right I there. I understand that, but they're claiming you stole something and I want to make sure you didn't. I have, I'm telling you. Do not resist. Dude, what the f are you doing to me? Hands behind your back. I didn't do anything. 34 cent backups are resistant. Why the f are you on me right now? What put your hands behind your back. What did I You're do? You're being detained. Put your hands behind what your back. What did I do? They're accusing you of stealing. I just said I was about to just drop all my stuff out. They just said you were stealing. Oh, I don't need to steal anything. I have money. Ask. We're in 24 I stay North. here. Haven't I been staying here? 318? Aaliyah okay, Church Okay, I want to make sure you're not stealing. I don't have to steal for what? If you're not stealing, you're going to be released. But I don't you need have to put to your steal. hands behind I'm your so, back. I can show you my room. That's fine. Lady at the front desk, Put please your help hands me. behind your back. Please help me. Like, what did I do? Ma'am, you're, you're under trying. arrest right I'm now. I'm not under arrest. I didn't do anything. Now you're resisting. No, you're fucking like a... Why are you fighting me right you're now? You're going to get tased if you don't put your hands behind you're your back. You're fighting me for what? What did I do? You're, you're being accused of theft. Hey, I didn't steal anything. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. <laughs> I mean, is it really worth it? You're gonna start fighting with a cop over a coffee? Are you serious? It's like these people have their priorities all screwed up. You would be way better off cooperating if you did do it, just take the charge and fight it in court. The way the courts are these days, they would probably drop the case anyways. But with the resisting arrest charge, now you made your situation 10 times worse. I don't care. Let go of it. It's mine. I didn't steal that. Just let go. Let I go of it. I didn't steal anything. That's my phone right there. Go ahead and stand up. 
Can I steal anything? You're gonna find that out. So that's not my phone right there. Stand up. Stand up. Come on. Look at my phone. Stand up. All right. You gonna help me? Yes. All right. These we're are holding tight. you right they're now. They're real tight. So I'm gonna one switch. They're, they're really loose. Like I'm praying. No, the right one. Oh, here it's it is. really. It's loose. my watch. Damn. Let's go ahead and stand up. Get two of my fingers to there. All right. Come on. Let's go. There we go. Where's my watch? Just that one. Love it. I wasn't even finished. I had to use the bathroom. I'm here all the time. You didn't pay for your drink. Dude, I just used the bathroom. You just watched me. I was coming right back and the ATM was right there. You didn't just pull all these cards out you of my hand. You have to pay before you leave the restaurant. I left it there. I said I'm coming right back. I just told them I'm coming right back. Right here. Uh, I'm no, sorry. Pop the trunk. All right. You all set? Yep, yep, yep. All right, have a seat. Oh, the foot name? Oh, the pockets too. Yeah, yeah, I started telling them. Alright, foot in. Oh, the foot in. We have a couple more going to check. Three, four, there's one across here. Huh. I can't breathe. Hey, I can't breathe. Can you let the window down? For real. And my handcuff is so fucking tight. It's cut, I'm bleeding. The window. Uh-uh, stay. Are you gonna give us some uh, identification? Yeah, yeah get, can I? Get back in. Hey, the, uh, get back in. I'm just breathing. Get I'm not, back in. Hey, I'm not doing anything. Put your feet back in. Can you in. help me out? Put your feet back in. Can you help me? Put your feet back in. Okay, no problem. You don't need that. That's what I'm saying. Put your feet back in. Okay, so, um. What is your first name? So, Get up. Get up. Hey, man. Get up. I didn't steal anything. There's my identification right there. Get up. I just gave you my name. I can give you my social card. Honestly, that has to be the worst attempt I have ever seen at evading the police. What was she thinking? So she thinks that she's going to be able to outrun these two cops while barging through a half open door while her hands are behind her back handcuffed. It doesn't make any sense, lady. You had exactly zero chance of pulling this off. But still, you tried and the only thing you managed to accomplish is to embarrass yourself and make your situation even worse than what it was before. I didn't steal anything. There's my identification and stuff right there. What did I do wrong? There's my money. There's all my stuff. Okay, it's cutting me though. I keep on trying to tell y'all that and I told you I needed to breathe. And you're not fucking helping me. It's cutting me. Really? Yeah, on my right hand. I try to be nice. Okay. And take well, advantage I, of I'm it. not trying to. So fuck you. Now. Now you just made my tooth. Tell my me lip what is, your name is. Aaliyah Church Green. Aaliyah Antoinette Church Green. My identification's right there. I'm staying in room 318. I've been here paying $800 a fucking night. What hotel are you staying at? 24 North. I just told you to go to the front desk. I was trying to, you, I was following you and you just told me. It's right in my pocket. Just yeah. go to the front desk, give him my name, give him my number. This is a hotel. No, honey. I have, I have a white, there's a white car. Get in. There's a white car. Get in. Dude. Come on. I'm not trespassing. Get off of me. Get in. Fix my fing handcuff thing. Get in. My Every life one. Get in. I don't give a f. Get in. Loosen it up. I said loosen it. And get well, in. if you get in the car. Just look. Just loosen it. The right one. God damn it. Get in. You have to loosen the right one. Get in. 
I'm not going anywhere. I just told you. I, you, you, you won't even let me. You won't let me show you my identification. Get in. All right. I'm literally trying to show you. Stand up and sit down in the car. I'm literally. It's right there. All right. You're gonna get tased. I am going to drive. I have my you. my identification's right there. Get in. My identification is right. Get in. In the hey, bag. Hey, Get in. in. I can't. Get in. Yeah, you uh, can't. You're fucking uh, late for it. You're gonna get Okay, 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 okay. Get in. Okay, stand up. My right, my right one though. Get in. Oh my, it's right. Look, the white key, you can go in my room right now. 318. Move your foot. 318 is my room number. 318. Just told you all of this shit. Do you want my fucking social security okay, okay, number as well? Six nine. I get it. You're angry. I'm not angry. I'm trying to tell you something. All I had to do was use the fucking bathroom, and I was gonna no, was set my stuff down. I'm trying to set my stuff no, down, and show, he's like, "Well, show me some identification." I try to go for the identification, and he's fucking wrestling me right now because I didn't do anything. You Write away. it down. You pulled away. I you. Stop. I was trying to Listen. show you. I was at the Stop. front desk. Stop. All you had to do was go to the fucking front desk. That's all you had to do. Are you done? No, because you're right. not listening. Let me know when you're done. No. Because I'm talking here. I'm running the show, not you. So okay. let me know when you're done so I can explain this to you. Okay, go ahead. Okay, you're being charged with disorderly conduct in a licensed establishment. You're being charged with theft. You're being charged with resisting an officer. Those are your charges right now, okay? She was a 318. She was? Yeah. When did she check out? I did it. I'm still, I'm still here. So another one bites the dust, another one arrested. This one was charged with petty theft, second degree, disorderly conduct in an establishment, and resisting the officer without violence. Now having to deal with psycho Karens can surely be a pain in the rear end, but you know what's even worse is getting your identity stolen. And this brings us to the sponsor of today's video, Aura. You may not know this, but your private information online is not secure. Data brokers are constantly looking for your information so they can sell it to hackers and criminals. And that's why I use Aura. Aura automatically scans the clear web and the dark web for any mentions of your private information. If your private information is located, it sends a removal request on your behalf to keep your identity safe. On top of that, Aura also monitors your credit. If someone were to open a bank account or take out a car loan in your name, you will be notified immediately so you can put a stop to it before it does irreparable damages. Aura gives you access to an identity plus credit monitoring, a password manager, an antivirus protection, a military grade virtual private network, home title monitoring, data broker removal, all for the low price of 12 bucks a month. It's a one-stop shop for your digital security. And the best part is that you can now try Aura for free with a 14-day trial with my link that's available in the description and in the pinned comment. If you live in the United States and you want to protect your identity and at the same time support the channel, use the link in the description. It's always best to prevent identity theft and fraud before it happens. Now back to the video. For the next clip, we'll be talking about the curious case of Latika Hancock. And basically this woman was having a full-blown Karen meltdown because the McDonald's employee didn't put the right amount of cheese on her cheeseburger. You heard that right. She got arrested because of a cheeseburger. You have a bad day inside? No, sir. I went through the drive through earlier. Okay. She refused to take my dollar to give me 30 cents after I paid it for extra cheese. Okay. There was a young lady who was very nice, by the way, before I introduced, got introduced to this lady in the burgundy. Okay. She asked the lady in the burgundy shirt to remake my sandwich. She comes up to the desk wanting me to pay her another 30 cents. So 49 plus 30 plus 30. For what when there's, I'm not even getting enough pieces of cheese. You only put one on here when I already paid the 49 cents for the extra piece of cheese. So now you're charging me 60 cents more. So then she got an attitude because I asked her for a refund and called the police because she didn't want to give me back my money. And I told them I'm in a black truck and I'm waiting. Okay. She finally gave me the refund literally eight seconds before I got in the car and started it up. The problem was all I wanted was to be remade with an extra piece of cheese. I completely she understand. started screaming at me and I'm just like, well, ma'am, she explained it to you. Why won't you go make it? Well, you need to pay me 30 cents. I said, the lady that just came and got the paper 
already took the 30 cents on top of the 49. Why would I give another 30 cents, which makes it 60 plus 49 cents? So they've made you whole? No. They haven't made well, you whole? Well, I mean, yeah, she gave me my money back, so I'm going to go somewhere else. But okay. the problem was she should have just remade it like the lady asked her. I came all the way back here to get my sandwich. Obviously, I wanted to go home with it. I didn't understand where she got confused at after the lady already said, yeah, just go ahead and remake it, put a piece of cheese in the middle. She started getting all extra, wanting me to pay her again. No, ma'am, it doesn't work like that. I paid now three times for only one piece of cheese that I still didn't even get. Okay. Lady, are you hearing yourself? You're literally arguing about a 30 cents piece of cheese. If you're not happy with the McDonald's employee, just go somewhere else. It's not that serious. She is literally making Mount Everest out of a molehill. If you had a disagreement with the people there, just move on with your day. It's not that big of a deal. So she gave me a refund. I'm leaving. She started screaming at me, telling me to have a good day and not to come back here. And I said, I won't. So you didn't, you, you didn't say anything. You were a complete angel. I know, I'm getting I information. You're getting disorderly. I sure score. did. Okay. All right. I did. So here's what's going to happen. You've been made whole, right? You got your I'm money leaving. back. You pulled up. I didn't yep. want you to have to so, chase me. So down here's the what we're going to do. They want you trespass. They don't. Who listen, cares? Just listen. I know. It doesn't mean anything. It's a McDonald's. They don't they want you. There's one right. on every corner. Customers are right. Thank you. Okay. I won't come back. Does this car come back to you? No, it does not. Okay. Can I get a driver's license number or something from you or name no, and date of birth? I don't have one. Well, I'm going to issue a trespass notice and I have to fill out a piece of paper. I okay? can care less. Okay. What you're I just do. need some information. No. But she I do. Gave a description. You can use that, but I no, no, no. sir. So I'm filling out a paper. Oh, go ahead. Okay. Fill it out. It's going to have your information on it so that you can't come back on the property. Who wants to? It's a McDonald's. I understand like you said, that. One but I have corner. to serve you I'm the not, piece no, of paper. No, I'm not about to give you my info. Sorry. Y you are because it's a crime there. if you don't. No, it's not. Because you're trespassing. The crime is her being nasty and won't make my sandwich the way I paid for it. It's my money. Okay. That's nasty. You're going to make it more difficult than it has to be. If you arrest me, I promise you, you're going to have a problem. I, I won't have a problem. Yes, you will. No. I will. Ma'am, we're sandwich. just trying to identify Not you to give you a piece of sandwich. paper. Okay, that's it. You have For to identify what? yourself. Too many McDonald's out here. Because For we what? Have, we've already explained she that to you. She was the rude ass bitch. Ma'am, ma'am, stop. Stop. Bring yours down. Stop. Because I'm done. Stop. I'm a piece of paper. That's For it. what? Over a sandwich that she refused to make. Are you going to stop and listen? Who's going to go in there and make her remake my sandwich? Stop. Nobody. If you don't stop, you're going to end up going to jail. Stop. Hancock, H A N C O C K, write it down so Calm I can Calm down. Go. No, because you're not about to act like no, that over a stop. sandwich she didn't make right. Stop. You don't need to go to jail over this. Exactly. Okay, so That's calm what I'm down. Saying. Like over a you're sandwich. Making, you're making us your enemy. So I know a lot of people will say in the comment section that these cops are tyrants for what is about to happen. And I wouldn't call them tyrants. Maybe they went too far, but you're going to see for yourself. But at the same time, it's like they weren't escalating the situation. They just needed her to ID so they can trespass her. Just give her a tiny little piece of paper. If all she would have done is to calm down, realize that this is really silly over a 30 cents piece of cheese and just give her info and move on with her day, none of this would have happened. I'm ready. I gave we, you my info. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. I said my last name. Damn. Over a Miss, burger that she Miss, didn't even make right. Miss, that I traveled way far Are you for. going to listen to me? What's your first name? The easiest thing to do is just give us your info. We give a you a trust. Sandwich. We give you a piece of paper and you don't come I back. Don't, no, then you're you free told to me leave. I'm trespass, so I'm not coming back. So we have to serve That's you with a criminal will. trespass notice. No, you don't. Yes, by law no, we do. You just want okay, to then we're going to arrest you. Then we're going to arrest you. No, you're you. not. You're to identify. No, you're then not. Then identify yourself. No. Yes. For what? Over I, a sandwich? Stop. She didn't identify herself. Identify yourself, or we'll have to arrest you. Now stop. Over a. Yes, job. over a sandwich. So you're making you're a bad decision. You're missing over. every day, though. But you coming for me over a burger? Y'all, it's too much. You're not leaving too until you identify yourself. Bruh, if you don't get the... You better calm down. I'm not giving you nothing. I already said it. Okay, you're under arrest. No, I'm not. Your back. Put no, your I'm hands not. behind your back. No, I'm not. You are under arrest for failure to identify. Don't put your hands. Okay, my last behind. name is Hancock. Put, I already told hands. you that. Put I already your told hands you that. Behind your back. No, I don't want to. For real, it's let's meet up. I'm telling you. Why would you do that? Okay, I'm saying okay. Put your hands behind your back. You're gonna get tased. Okay. I said okay. Put your hands behind wait. your back. Sorry, wait. I put said okay. your hands. Okay. No. I'm getting down. Uh, 
Can I please turn around? Up against the car. Up against the car. Turn around and face the car. Why would you turn around and face the car? Why would you turn around and face the car? Okay. Look at my mouth! Oh my god! That's, that's, that's alright, she's stuck. I know, I'm just gonna have to go inside the car. My last I look at my face! Why would you touch me? I didn't even hit you! Why, I have nothing for my mouth, please! Why would you touch me like Color that? Color 311. Why? Why you didn't need to punch That's why you don't want to press to be too slow if she resists it. Get your shoe. Get your shoe. Get your shoe. Where is it? I can't see it. Put your shoe on. I'm trying to get my breath. I'm sorry. I didn't have to even do this way. Can I just leave that home now? No, you're going to jail. Come on. Please, can I go home? Come on. Are you okay? My name is Latika. Latika, it didn't have to be this way, Latika. I'm sorry, please. It didn't have to be this way. I want to go home. Okay, my mouth. Yeah. Do y'all give people stuff? You gotta call an ambulance. I got it. <sighs> I can't. Excuse me, sir. Listen to me. Stop Why and listen. Why you punching me Stop like and that? Listen. My mouth hurts. Stop and listen. Do you have any guns or knives on you? Do I have a what? Guns or knives on you? No. My lips is like it's blessed or something. Yeah, we it is. We're gonna see you. But I mean, like, is my skin on my lip hanging? Because it feels no. like it. No. Nope. <sighs> My lip is busted, sir. Bottle like, 310, can you start a medic? I don't have no problem. Not an emergency. So the way I see it, either she was going to get tased or they were going to use physical force. Now, I don't know what she would have preferred, but at the same time, you know that when you're resisting the cops and you're fighting with them, you know you're going to get hurt. It's just bound to happen. That's why it's much better to just relax and fight your case in court. That's where you can fight your case, not on the streets. But anyways, it is what it is. The cops were put on administrative leave, but that's not enough for her lawyers. Her lawyers want them fired, and of course, they want money. Ma'am, it didn't even have to be this way. I want to go, please. You're going. No, you, man. you brought it to this. Sit down to the minute gets here to see you. I don't want to go home. You don't have a choice. You just caused us to use but force against you. No, but you, you pushed me on your you, own will. No, it's because you I were didn't resisting. Push you. you don't have to. I didn't resist. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. I'm a female. Look at my face. It's pants. all resisting. Don't it don't matter what you, you are. Your feet in the car. Stop arguing. This is not a debate. Okay, okay, I'm going. I'm, I'm going to go, sir. Okay, tell him to stop because it hurts. I'm going to. Why are y'all so like this over a sandwich? Close the door. You bitch. So we had one resist, and I punched her in the mouth. She busted her mouth open. So let's just put some galls on it, wipe it up, and we'll get her to the jail. Works for me. Grab some money. Uh, I'm gonna have a traffic ticket for you too since you don't have a driver's license. Remember that piece of paper we just wanted to give you? Right here it is. Alright, so listen to me, okay? I don't know if photo identifies what you want. You fail to provide Finally. information uh, to avoid a criminal complaint. This is one of the finest corrections officers around, okay? As long as you do everything she tells you, you will be fine, okay? Go ahead and go on in there. This is where I leave you, okay? I'll pass through the screening sheet. She did resist, but she is in a lot better mood now. Okay. So obviously, this is a very unfortunate incident. It shouldn't have happened, especially over a 30 cents piece of cheese. And I'm on the side of the law. If the officers go too far, then they go too far. And I guess in this case, he did because he was arrested and he was charged with misdemeanor assault. So that's what happened. I guess he should have possibly used his taser or should have maybe brought her to the ground. 
but the knuckle sandwich to the face was too much and now he will have to face consequences as well. That doesn't mean that her case is dismissed or she was right to have a complete Karen meltdown, but I guess in this case, both people were in the wrong. Next, we'll be taking a look at one of the funniest body cam videos I've seen in a while. Basically, we have a drunk Karen that ordered a pizza at Domino's. She went to the wrong one, started banging on the door of the Domino's like a complete maniac, and then called the cops on Domino's. But the only issue is she was driving drunk, completely wasted, and when the cops got there, their focus shifted very quickly from a Karen meltdown to a DUI investigation. Yeah. You can, you, can, you can hang up. We're here. I'm so sorry. Yeah, you, you can, can hang up. Talk, come talk to us. What's going on? I got into an argument with them. I got into an argument with the Domino's. With the guy at Domino's. Okay. That's what, that's what happened. I got into an argument with the guy at Domino's. Okay. And what do you need us for? I don't. Well, why'd you call us then? The guy was being a dick. I'm sorry. Where is he? Is he still there or did he leave her? I don't know. Did you get pizza? I'm trying to. Okay. You been drinking tonight? No. You sure? Your eyes are bloodshot red. You, you seem to be slow to respond to my questions. Where are you coming from? My apartment. Which is where? In Apicola. Okay. What were you doing at your apartment? I was living. <laughs> okay. I also have... Do you want the full story? Say that again? Do you want the full story of what I've been doing at my apartment in Apicola? Sure. I I spoke with an officer earlier this afternoon in the Jupiter PD. Who? You know the name? Sorry, I, I, I'm sorry. I've spoken with a lot of officers at Jupiter PD. Do you live by yourself or do you live with someone? I live with myself. I have a dog. Okay. I'm just trying to find the name That's of okay. While you're, no, 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 while no, you're looking for it, I just want to ask you a couple questions. No, so keep no, looking for I, it. I, I... So what's, what's going on, man? Why don't you tell the story? We'll worry about the, the name of the Jupiter officer later. Oh, I'm nervous. Why are you nervous? I'm nervous because you guys are here looking at me and... Okay. Well, you called us, so we're just here to try and assist you for whatever you need. I called for help because people are being assholes. Okay. Heather, let me ask you just you're a couple questions. They're... You're not seeing them being assholes right now, obviously. How long ago were you in there? 10, 15 minutes ago. 10, 15 minutes? Okay. So, what day is today? What day is it? Without looking at your phone, do you, do you know what day it is? Yeah. Okay. I'm just, I'm just asking. You know, what, tell me what day it is. It's Tuesday night. Okay. They generally close at 10 o'clock. Domino's 
generally closes at 10 o'clock. Okay. okay. What time is it now? Look at your phone. What time is the time on your phone? It's after... It's after 11. It's 11.38 according to the clock on your car, right? So, have you been out here since they closed? No, I drove over here from my apartment. What's, when did you leave your house? You know, I... Oh, you want me to go, talk go ahead. Yeah. No, apparently they're still open because there's someone there flagging us down. So how long, ago, how long ago did you get here? I truly... I don't know the exact time that I got out here. Okay. I... I, I I'm not lying to you. I, I'm not saying you are. I'm, I'm not. I'm not insinuating that at all. I'm just trying to piece together everything there. So when you got here, they were still open. You were able to walk inside. You were able to talk to them to place an order, or no? I walked in there. Okay. I walked in there, and the guy with the dick. I mean, I. How? Explain to me, because I don't. You know that that means something different for everybody. So how is he? Snarky as shit. Okay. What was he saying? Like, was he saying, like, we're closed, or you can't place an order now, it's too late? Someone saying they're closed typically would not result in you being like, you're being a dick. Yeah. Hang on one second for me, okay? One, one second, man. I was trying to look for water, I'm sorry. It's alright. So... You haven't had any alcohol today? have had alcohol today. Okay. When did you last have alcohol? An hour ago or so. hour ago? Okay. What did you have to drink? A glass of wine. A glass of wine? Okay. Um, how many glasses of wine? A glass of wine. One? One glass of wine? Ish. I mean, I, like, yeah, I'll a glass of wine. Okay. A little bit more? Let me ask you this. You, you have, did you have a bottle of wine? No. Did you have half a bottle of wine? No. Did you, you only had one glass out of the bottle of wine. Yeah. Okay. Did you have a bottle, or is it a box? Is it a is it a single sample? A glass. I, I, I had a glass. I, okay. So. So as you guys can see, she's so wasted that she's malfunctioning. She can't even finish her sentences. I can't believe she's so stupid to actually call the cops on herself when she's in this state and operating a vehicle. I'm starting to wonder if subconsciously she was trying to get arrested because this simply doesn't make any sense. And then you went from home, you were having some wine at the house and you left the house to come here to get pizza. Did you call ahead to place an order? Or were you picking up an order, or were you coming here to make an order? Like walk in and say, hey, I want this pizza, and wait for them to make it and then leave. I came to pick up an order so I could bring it back home. Okay, so what time did you place the order? How, how, how did you place the order? Was it on your phone? Did you call ahead? Okay, look at your phone and tell me the time that you called ahead. Twenty-two fifty-three. Let me see. Twenty-two fifty-three. Twenty-three oh seven. Twenty-three fifteen. Okay. So you, this is this is Papa John's here, or this is Domino's here. Oh my God. Sorry. Can I see this second? Can you see your phone saying it? That's for the that, Domino's okay. in North Palm Beach. Domino's in North Palm. That's the one I'm on. Okay. So you didn't call this one here? You called the wrong Domino's. I'm sorry. Okay. So. Alright. So you only had one glass of wine. Tonight. Alright. Do you have any other medical conditions? 
No. You have any issues with walking, maintaining balance, anything like that? You have any issues with your speech? No, not at all. Do you speak with a lisp? Do you speak with a slur? Anything like that? No, I have a chihuahua. That's you have a chihuahua. Okay, at home, not here. Okay. Do you have any issues with your eyes that are not corrected by glasses? Do you wear contacts or glasses? No, I got his by them yelling at me when I walked up asking for pizza. I'm sorry. Okay. Can you can you go check with him and find out like what she was saying? I know? did. Man, they they close at ten. They do delivery till midnight. Okay, but they don't do any... After 10 o'clock, they lock the doors because they only have their delivery drivers delivering pizza till midnight. And he stated that you went up there and he says, it's not the first time you've been here acting like this, trying to pull on the door, you know, bang on the door for them to open up when they're closed. And he said, last week you even came and like walked in and took a soda and walked out with it and then left it down on the sidewalk when you left. He said, you, they've had multiple interactions with you here that have not been positive interactions. So, you came here then when they were closed? Yes. He said, he said you arrived about 10, 10 to 15 minutes ago, and they've already been closed well, I mean, for an hour and 45 minutes now, so you were here way past 10 o'clock. I mean... I'm... So, they were, they were okay. absolutely Sorry, closed. Sorry, my... So... I'm not sure why you just... Let's do this. No, no, no. Okay. no. What'd you say? What, let's, let's, let's do this, okay? Um... Do you have any medical conditions? Do you take prescription medications for anything? No, I mean, I have anxiety. Anxiety. Okay. That's it. Diagnosed or undiagnosed? I go to therapy, but it's not through, like, insurance or anything. Okay, so you don't take medications for the anxiety. No. Okay, what do you typically do to, to cope with your anxiety? I have a dog. I lost my soul's dog in February, and... I'm uh, in the market for a new dog so that I can train to the dog. Okay. It's been a rough couple of months, I'm sorry. Okay. So do you medicate with any drugs? No. Do you, what about alcohol? You medicate with alcohol? No. Drinking alcohol? No. No. Okay. Alrighty. So, Heather, there's, there's, I have, I have a lot of concerns. Okay. One of them is your, just your, your general appearance and presence right now, your demeanor right now, all right? Aside from being anxious and such, not very, being very rational, all right? I do have the odor of alcohol coming off of your breath in addition to that. Your eyes are bloodshot and glassy, and yes, you, you are crying. I'm not denying that fact, but... It seems unusual for me for it, it's very unusual for someone to call 911 for emergencies. You know that that's emergencies, right? You live in the United States your whole life, I presume, right? Mm -hmm. Where were you born? New York. New York. Okay. So you know that 911 is for emergencies. Okay. So someone that calls 911 to say some guy's being a dick because he wouldn't make my pizza is not an emergency. Would you agree or disagree? You agree that that's not an emergency? Yeah, okay. So typically with people who are impaired, they don't make rational decisions. They're very impulsive, okay? So there's there's some concern there, all right? This is what I'd like to do. I'd like to run a series of roadside sobriety tasks on you and make sure that you're not impaired so that way you can get home and you can either make something at the house or figure something else out to eat because they're not serving you today. I... Okay. But before I let you get into your car and drive away from here, I need to make sure that you are safe to be on the road because I have some concerns, like I said. All right. Are you willing to participate in the roadside sobriety task? Should I be asking for a lawyer to be with me right now? No lawyer can be present with you right now. This is a DUI investigation. Okay? So, just like in a traffic stop, just like any interaction with law enforcement out on the streets or anything like that, you don't have the right and presence of a lawyer to be with you, you know, while we do that that, that preliminary aspect. Alright? The time you get access to a lawyer, constitutional right, access to a lawyer is after you've been charged and arrested and you're, you're basically getting arraigned. 
Okay, at that point there, you've been booked under the charges and stuff like that. That's when you have your access to a lawyer. All right? We're, we're not there. I mean, the officer could explain this until the cows get home. Drunks rarely understand their constitutional rights. It seems like they watch way too much TikTok videos and they have a skewed idea of when you're allowed to have a lawyer and when you're not allowed to have one. And when you're being investigated for DUI, you do not have the right to a lawyer. Sorry. Do you want to freely and voluntarily perform the roadside sobriety task? Right now. What does that mean? The DUI investigation. I'm going to assess you, make you walk a line, check your eyes, finger to nose, one leg stand. The series of, of tasks that assesses impairment. Yes or no, plain and simple, this is the last time. I'm not declining anything, I just don't have anyone here with okay. me right now. Step out of the car, please. Heather, you're gonna wanna step out of the car under your own volition, okay? Step on out of the car and place your hands behind your back. You're under arrest, step on out of the car and place your hands behind your back. I'm not telling you again, and don't make me get in the car and rip you out. Step outside of the car and put your hands behind your back. Are you, I, I, please don't touch me. Get out of the car right now. Hands behind your back. Stop moving. I'm bringing this stuff some. Why are you doing this? Yeah, I'm gonna send a jupiter here, I think she's tied up. We're gonna need a female for a search. She's 10 15 to the one. Oh. Forgot. <laughs> about that. Female officer's on her way to come search you. Okay. Just undo the wrist. Yeah. Okay. Heather, do me a favor. Walk over here to the car. Walk over here to the car. Okay. Just stand right there. Lean up against the car. Why? Relax. Relax this arm. Relax this arm. Relax this arm. Oh, what? Just give me some more. How does that come off? It doesn't. It's a permanent bracelet. <laughs> you can cut it off if you want. Yeah, they're going to take it off at the jail then. Why? Stop. <laughs> Alright. Heather, you are under arrest for driving under the influence. Being actual physical control of the vehicle while under the influence. Okay. Small burst. Mm -hmm. I just want to know. Should be. Right, come back over here to my vehicle. Come off the car. Back off the car. I'm a financial advisor. Okay. Like I. That's fine. You're gonna be okay. Walk this direction. This way. Walk to your right. I walk to your right. Come on. Stop. I'm Stop. So, I'm sorry. I listen. Understand listen to me. Just... You're under arrest. Stop. I'm giving you direction. I'm giving you direction. You are under arrest. Anything that you do other than what I tell you to do is obstruction and resisting. Okay. It can amount to another to another charge. So this is what I need you to do. I already told you you're under arrest for DUI. You're in actual physical control of the vehicle while under the influence. So you're going to jail with me tonight. I need you mm -hmm. to follow my directions so you don't catch another charge. Walk over to my car right over there. Okay? Let's go.
Next, we have the most insane Karen we've seen so far, who believes she was owed a free cookie at McDonald's. So she did what a Karen would do in that situation. She whipped out her gun and threatened and assaulted the employees. A total maniac. Stay right there. Stay right there. Gun. Exit the car. Hands. Exit the car. What? Exit the car. How you gonna tell me to exit? Out of the car. Put it in park. Who are you yelling at? Who are you yelling at? Right here. Hands on the hood. Hands on the hood. Do you have a gun? But hands I'm on the hood. Expert. Stop arguing. Hands on the arguing. hands on the hood. My hands is on the hood. Why well, have to put my hands on the hood? Am I arrested? You're being detained. Hurry up. You see what they're doing? Got it. Hey, Alpha Lot. Point Alpha is 10 6, 10 33, 3 units at McDonald's. 2 points, Alpha Lot. 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 So the agency muted the audio here because of an ongoing investigation. But what happened is that this Karen allegedly pulled out a gun in McDonald, put a magazine in it, and then cocked it. So that's what happened. Why y'all doing all this? Why cost for all these cops? They said you shot a gun over there. Huh? There we go. There you go. You just came here. Why are you getting all hostile? Hello? I'm on the car. I'm on the car. You don't have to put me in the car. Put her in the car. No, you don't have to put me in the car. You don't have to put let me get back. Hey, do not pull away from him. I'm not pulling away from him. Let's fight it. 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 let us Let's take a look at the news article before we wrap up the video because somehow this story gets even crazier. The worker told officers that Hendricks then grabbed a black handgun, inserted a magazine, and proceeded to rack the slide. The woman said she heard two click sounds associated with someone chambering around, according to the report. Hendricks then allegedly parked her car in front of the McDonald's and attempted to open the front door. Employees had locked the door because they feared for their lives, the report said. Police said Hendricks forced herself inside the restaurant and struck one of the employees multiple times and forced him out of the building. Police said that employee had multiple scratches to his face and neck. Hendricks was also charged with resisting arrest after she had allegedly refused to listen to the officer's verbal commands. So she got a lot of charges for this incident, including aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, improper exhibit of a firearm, and battery causing bodily harm and resisting an officer. This woman is so psychotic, she doesn't belong in society at all. She needs to be locked up and we throw away the key in the ocean. So the final video has nothing to do with a fast food joint and everything to do with a grocery store. We have a Karen who believes she was owed thousands of dollars of groceries because of her skin color. Her words were, this is my Rosa Parks moment. But when you analyze this and think about it critically, the only thing she was trying to do is to bully a store into giving her free merchandise. And she cornered this guy in his office and she got a knuckle sandwich in return. Twenty one safe fire. Four point twenty one. Repeat. Safer fire. So what happened? She okay. Seemed secure at uh, twenty forty six. Okay. Came up. I tried to verbally de-escalate. Uh -huh. 
she told me that she wanted to wreck it out, and I told her we couldn't do that. Okay. And then she said, excuse me, and I was like, man, like, I need you to back up or leave, like, but we can't do that for you. So she started charging at me. I came all the way back into my office, into an enclosed space, uh -huh. and I hit her in the face. Okay. Are you and I have it all on video. Ma'am, are you okay? Physically, I'm okay. Emotionally, I am there. Car 4, David 31. Okay. So she says she's very very angry and that's a common theme that we're going to see over here is that she's playing the victim she's the psycho that ambushed a store demanding free groceries and yet she still thinks she's the victim it's absolutely mind-blowing in front of the big line uh, eight twenty five so according to the manager's statement what happened here is that she realized she didn't have enough money to pay for all her groceries and then she asked to speak to a supervisor that could give her some free groceries because she's black now the employee didn't deny her but just said that she would need to come back tomorrow when there's the proper manager that would be able to properly address the situation and then she got in her face she got super angry as you can see here demanding that she gets the free groceries right away like a complete psycho so then a security guard intervened and that's when things go from bad to worse she starts with a little argument with him and then she walks up to him and tries to corner him he backs up keeps backing up all the way to his office and she keeps following him getting in his face to the point where they're in the office and she's menacing and he has to drop her out of self-defense now there's a few things I want to say as disclaimers because I'm sure there's going to be some stupid comments in the comment section. First of all, I'm white, my wife is black, my kids are mixed, and this is not how you fight for equality. This woman, what she's doing, basically she's calling this her Rosa Parks moment. Demanding free groceries is doing nothing for your cause. You're just making a mockery of the cause. Rosa Parks, MLK, they were actually fighting against real inequality and injustice and they made a difference. This Karen on the other hand just wants free groceries and possibly clout. It doesn't work like that Karen. You have the same chances as everybody else right now and you just don't go into a grocery store and demand free groceries. It doesn't work like that. You have to pay for what you get in this life. You have to earn it and if you don't have enough money then just come back the next day and try to talk to a manager don't go full psycho Karen mode and ambush the employees here you're just gonna get yourself in trouble which is exactly what happened here I tried to close you out of my office and you just kept on pushing your way in that's right no sir I didn't push my way in. Yes, I came. No, I came around the corner quickly. Hey, would you I did not push quit the talking? Door. Hey, no. Excuse Let's you. Stop talking. When I'm telling you, you stop talking. Okay. Do you know who I am? I uh, will figure that out when I get your ID. You have cameras here, right? That's all. That's all that matters. You clearly don't know who I am. Man. Is your ID in here? Talking. Is your ID in here? No. Okay. Here. May I see it? Sure. Why do you need my ID? And you're not taking his. To identify him. We know who he is. How? What's his name? We've been here many, many times. May You've I, identified can him. I have your ID? If I have to get my ID in this situation, I'll why get his ID mean? too. Don't worry exactly. about it. Exactly. This, this has right, to be right. Alright, you're just digging a hole here. No. Let me have We're going to do this the right way. We've been doing it the wrong way for a long... No, he... Thank you. Have his. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, we're going to do this properly. If we're going to have this conversation, we will do it properly. With the support of my community. To come behind me in a big way to have a money conversation. There are people subjugated and locked out of things. We have decided we were not going to have a bigger conversation. I decided to take a stand. This is my Rosa Parks moment, dude. Don't play with me. I'm just listening. That's all I'm doing. We're having a conversation about how to reconcile the fact that some people benefited off of a system that was bringing other people. I asked nicely to have that conversation. Okay, what were you asking for? To talk to, for her to connect me 
with who I could talk to. What was your purpose of that con that further conversation? What were you going to ask that person for to do? To break the lies around money. What's that mean? We all know money has not been treating everybody equally. Okay. Money is not the only way for things to happen. It's were, you, not were you asking for them to make a donation, essentially? Or to let you have them for free? No, what was it? I was coming up to the limit of where I had money. I was trying to ask if Target would comp me the rest and we would have a conversation, a bigger bubble up a bigger conversation about why because I know the heart of this place. Okay. It's the right place for me to have this conversation. Yeah, Target's a good company. Exactly. Yeah. And I was trying to have a hard conversation in a safe place. Yeah. Okay. So did you No, 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 no. I got out there, People I, I hit me like for exactly that. Exactly what was said. I did it the right way. And then when I, was I went through the right steps. They kept the reason the problem why money doesn't work right is because it blocks people at checkpoints. And I'm tired of being Bitch, please, you did not do it the right way. What would have been the right way is saying, sorry, ma'am, I'm low on funds. Are you able to pay the rest? And if she says, no, we can't do that right now, you say, okay, then I'll just buy the amount of groceries that I have enough money for and maybe come back tomorrow and talk to the supervisor that can handle that situation. That would have been the right way. You would have probably got the exact same answer, but at least you wouldn't have made a fool out of yourself. Locking good people out. So you don't get paid what you deserve. Well, other than Nearly as much. Because choosing to do the right thing in this world costs this monetarily. That's not fair. The system is rigged against people doing the right thing. Okay. Because so, this world is selfish. I will there are good with people, that. and I was trying to have a bigger discussion of that, how selfish people are holding other people down for that. Y'all are in this too. So now she seems to be having a whole issue with capitalism, and I kind of understand that point, kind of like how teachers are doing such an important job, but they're not paid that much. And sometimes doing the right thing doesn't earn you the most money, but it is what it is. That's the world we live in. So if you're motivated by helping others and teaching children and doing some type of work like that, just know that there's not much money that's going to come your way. And if you're motivated with money, then you need to look at other career paths. That's just how it is. This will really come up for sure. So, can I? I live across. I, no, this is the aisle I crossed because my dad is a police was a police officer in the military. Mm -hmm. He hit my mom. She called you guys. We lived in a white neighborhood. I knew you were good because I knew my dad. He was supposed to come in and mediate, but he wasn't comfortable with the way we looked. So he stood at the door and said, "Ma'am, you should just stay." And she listened, and it broke our entire family. He did not do his job because he was scared. No, no, I will give you another example. Can I talk for a second? Sure. All right. So to simplify what happened outside, you had a certain amount of money that was with you, correct? And they asked, and you asked somebody to cover the rest, correct? That was your goal. That was your goal, correct? To cover the rest? Yes. And you, and, and, and were you can I please finish? Yeah. Were you anticipating that that matter would be resolved right here, right now? No. Okay. I knew she, I, want, I asked her to put me in touch with her. Perfect. Because that would be unreasonable to anticipate that somebody at this level could monetarily exactly. make a decision for a business. But they blocked me from the bigger. Well, you could have called us. We could have absolutely helped you get a phone number. The internet's got phone numbers. We could have found it. You could have found That's it. That's fine, but I wasn't the wrong one in the situation. You can uh, stand up. Let's go outside. Sure. Grab your your bag. And we'll explain everything outside. Why are we, you why are we isolating the conversations? Yeah, ma'am, as of today, you're just trespassed from Target. I'm sorry? As of today, you're trespassed from Target. On the basis of you hitting me? Ma'am, let's go. Outside. No, no, that is not going to happen. Either you walk out on your own or in handcuffs. Oh, I will be arrested for this cause. 
that's the first thing she said that made sense she will be arrested for this cause what cause that is is the cause of ambushing employees to try to get free groceries that is her rosa parks moment that's what she said right what a disgusting woman honestly karen you are just embarrassing yourself I really hope that her family sees this and has a sit down with her. A good old intervention. Come on. Come on. No, I'm not going to do it. Don't make this uh, nope. more difficult. You're gonna, no, to it's going to be on camera. Where are you holding your lines at? Come on. So it's very, it's very straightforward. Any business can refuse a customer. Mm -hmm. I go to Wendy's and I like my haircut. They don't have to serve me. Does he have to? That's all he, this is. So he, he has, has. He gets the right to kick, kick me out after he hits me. He didn't bubble so that. He can't bubble that up in management. He is speaking asked, on behalf of the company. At this really? Point. That's exactly. What he's doing. So he can speak on behalf of the company at that level, but he couldn't do it there. I wasn't out there. I'm sure tensions were a little different than they are at this moment in time. So. <gasps> no, you're gonna reconcile that. You're not gonna give me any more lies. You will tell the truth about the situation. No, 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 no. You are trying no. to arrest me for him hitting me. Correct. You are under arrest. Yes. You're under arrest for menacing and disorderly conduct. Okay? Now, here's what we would like to do. We would Let's rather you walk outside thing. and not make a big deal. If you're gonna make oh, a big no, deal, we're gonna have to handcuff you and do yes, all that. Yes, you other will. Stuff. Yes, you okay. will. Let's well, right. go. I'm not gonna Don't move. Don't get resisting to. Okay. Let's do it. Let's not. If we're gonna go into it, let's do it. If you're you're gonna hold every line, you know what you know what happened here. I know, I just watched the video. I asked to open a conversation and he's still blocking me out and you guys are protecting it. Ma'am. You chased the one employee all the way to the front, okay? You made contact with her body by pushing your body into hers. I just watched it clear as day on the video. Okay. He then came out and you followed him all the way back here. Okay. Making him fear for his safety. You backed him into an office and you got hit in the face, unfortunately. When people who are backed into a corner, they can choose. No, no. They can choose to do the right thing or they can choose to lash out. Okay, you were in the wrong here, just so we're I going. held the line. You didn't hold and the I, line. No, no, I, I moved my line continuously. I, Yes, Karen, you held your line, you moved your line, you pushed your line all the way to the office where unfortunately he had to hold his line and that's when you got dropped. Asked, and when they did not respect, they were gatekeeping me. Like the whole world has kept people. Man, you were you, free to leave at any time. Absolutely. But you didn't. Absolutely. So because it wasn't you right. amplified the situation. No, no you wanted something When the for laws free. are not right, you, wanted something you make a stand so they can change. Are you ready to go outside? If the laws are meant to hold people down, you will fight for me, my community. Okay, let's go outside. Okay. You will come for me. Okay, let's go outside. I'm trying to give you the chance right now, just like before. You're, you're elevating the situation when it doesn't need to be. It's already done. It's not done. It's done. Absolutely Tonight not. Tonight is done. No, it's not. You're not. Your pe people that look like you are done trying to gatekeep people that look like me. No, ma'am. I really hate it that the woman's trying to make it about race. If a white woman came in and did the exact same thing, she would be in the exact same position. She would be going to jail as well because you committed a crime. You wanted free groceries and instead of being nice about it, you went full on psycho Karen mode. And anybody that would have done that, man, woman, white, black, Hispanic, Asian, would have suffered the same consequence, which is going to jail. What happened? What happened? You got mad at them because they wouldn't give you your you card for free. I literally, no. Yes. You saw my heart. You understand what I was trying to do. I explained it to you. Yeah, you were trying to have them comp some of the extra stuff. Yes. Stuff well, that you a couldn't A large afford. conversation. And then that large conversation spoiled into this, unfortunately. And this Correct. is where we are. That this doesn't, is, just because your intentions were good, does not make this any less illegal, unfortunately. Right. So we but have. what happens when so laws me two seconds. are not okay for people? We I, just talk I about have to it. enforce the laws that are in place, okay? That is our job. That is our goal. But he's not getting arrested for assault? He's not assault. He's defending himself. 
we are all, we're all watching this, right? Absolutely. We're all watching this together. You see where the police are holding the lines of my people? Ma'am, you were completely the laws, in the wrong. No, I wasn't. Yes, you were. No, this but is here's the problem. The thing. Even if we're wrong, that's what court's for. So we don't need to argue about it. We just have to go with what probable cause and what the law says, okay? You can't touch other people, okay? You can't make other you people. Didn't. You did. I watched the video, okay? You can't do that. You can't make people feel for their safety. That's why it's menacing, okay? You can't chase employees back in offices. I asked, That's disorderly conduct. He asked me. He was gatekeeping me. Ma'am, you were free to leave at any you know, time. No, he, he, he knew about the police. He said, I will call the police. And instead of doing that, he ran back here. And you chased him. To have that conversation. No, you are completely wrong. No, there yes. was not at any time that my hands came up to do anything to anybody. You're not being when I did, with I stood my ground. Okay, and you and were when wrong. when people, no, I wasn't. Standing your ground is not wrong if you're standing it in the truth. Okay. If there are places where the system is broken and rigged against people, anybody. Okay. Here's the what rules do. need to change. Okay. They're not changing tonight. Okay. We have to go by the Ohio Revised Code. You're holding me down. This is what we're going to do right now in this we, moment? You are going right to get arrested. Arrest, yes. For him hitting me. I'm clearing this up. Yes, ma'am. You know what I was trying to do? I understand what you're trying to do. It doesn't make it any less illegal what happened today, okay? I understand. So, but you're not talking, you're not having that bigger conversation with them and helping level them up in understanding. You know, I right? explained what you, were, what you did. Just because there's a deeper thought and a deeper level but that he, you have no, doesn't make it less deep, illegal. The deeper part was he wasn't the right person to have that conversation with. He did not do his part. Instead, he hit me. Defending himself, he yes. Hit a woman, he hit a woman out of his own fear. All right, so let me address this real quick. There's a lot of women that think that they can get away with things because they're women. It doesn't work like that. If you step up to someone menacingly... You know, the man is allowed to defend himself. And yeah, she didn't have any weapon, but he doesn't know that. You're there, you're barging into his office, acting like a psycho, demanding free groceries. It's possible you might get dropped. I'm not disagreeing. He hit a woman today. Yeah, absolutely he did. And it was in his own defense. So what we are going to do is either A, we can walk out peacefully, or B, we can do it in cuffs. Why was he not, no, why was he not being arrested? And because he said he could have called the cops, he realized he had a choice in that and moment. And chased him into his office. So here's the deal, okay? We're done. I need you to turn around put your hands behind your back. You're under oh. arrest. Thank you. Violate my rights okay. as a human being to protect the law. Do you have anything on your person that's going to poke us, prod us, or cut us? No? Okay. You see it? Good your job is with good people? I don't disagree that you're no, a good no, no, person. No, no, no. Here, keep on walking. Your We're almost job, here. No, we're having a conversation. Absolutely. We'll have, have a conversation from the, the back seat. Come on. You're going to sit in the back seat with me? I'll stand outside the back seat with you. Okay. And I asked nicely. And I got refused, and I stood a line that scared them, and they lashed out. So do you think you could have approached it in a different manner than how we approached it today and probably got the same goal, the same end? Well, how would you, how do you expect for, I'm asking for something at the register to be done. Mm -hmm. The cash register couldn't, the cashier couldn't do it for me. I asked, they asked her to bubble it up to a manager. That's what you do. You take it up the chain of command. Absolutely you do. Yeah. But they, they, this is the problem. My people have been trying to take it up the chain of command, and they are getting smacked back down because the laws are not in their favor. So there you have it. That's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video. One lesson to take out of this is beware of Karens because they are unhinged. Thanks so much for watching, and don't forget, if you want to protect your identity and at the same time help support the channel, try Aura for free for 14 days by using my link in the description and in the pinned comment. Once again, thanks so much for watching. Please consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys on the next one.